thanks for stopping by our workshop. Today we'll take a look at our 2030 Pagoda style LED path light. And in a few moments I'll show you exactly what comes in the box and how it works. The fixture is made from heavy duty cast aluminum and professionally powder coated for a long life. It is set up to run on 12 volts AC, the standard in landscape lighting. The fixture comes with a plug-in LED bulb. Our 3 watt LED puts out the same light as a 20 watt halogen. The fixtures you get in the big home improvement store, mostly made of plastic, have the LED built in. So if it fails, you have to throw away the entire fixture. With our fixture, just change the bulb. Long life LED, energy efficient, better materials, equals excellent sustainability and a much better value over time. The fixture projects about a four foot diameter of soft, even light. So not only does it light the way on the path, but it illuminates the landscaping and flowers all the way around. And as a bonus, the fixture looks great even in the daytime. Make sure you see our website for additional notes, landscape lighting kits, and optional parts to customize your project, as well as all the colors we offer in this fixture. Heavy duty cast aluminum, heavy glass gasketed lens, the LED Pagoda light will safely light the way on your property and make your garden a magical place. Now let's see what's in the box piece by piece. Often the box comes with a halogen light bulb. Uh, we're going to set that aside because you're probably not going to use it. Also, we ship a LED bulb. It comes in a little white box like this. Now, it may be in the box or they may have packaged it separately. So please do look in all the packing materials to see where they put the light bulb. It comes in this little, little sleeve. And here's the light bulb. It has two little pins on the bottom and it attaches right inside the light fixture. We're going to show you that in just a minute. We'll put it in the light fixture. The factory often sends wire nets um, in case you don't want to use the blue connector type or you have a special application. So you may or may not use these. Um, it's going to be your choice. The fixture comes with a very substantial heavy duty spike. Now you're not gonna find the spike at the home improvement store. It's a serious spike. It's longer than the ones at the home improvement store. It's a solid spike. It's made out of plastic so it won't corrode and it has a half inch threaded female for the light fixture. Now, with the light fixture, you can use a base plate if you, mount to, if you want to mount it on a wooden rail or a wooden walkway or a step or something like that. And that is an option. Also in the box is the riser. Now it comes with this riser. The risers match the light fixtures. And there are options for longer ones if you should need that. We have a whole series of options for these. And they actually just screw together. Um, they have a nipple here. It's all half inch. So it's pretty easy to raise your light fixture. But in my, in my uh, experience, it's nice to just leave the light fixture at the length it is. Keeping the light fixture closer to the ground, it actually ends up looking better at night. I think the only reason you'd want to extend this is if the light fixture is in a flower garden and the vegetation's high and you want to get the light fixture up above the vegetation. Now let's take a look at the light fixture itself. The light fixture comes in this bubble wrap. It comes with a, a lead, long enough lead. Often the factory strips the ends and if you're going to use the wire nuts, uh, you're probably going to want them stripped. But if you're not going to use the wire nuts and you're going to use our blue connector, uh, you're going to take your wire cutter and you're going to cut those off and have it like that because you don't want the copper showing. The lead goes right into the light fixture here. What we're going to do is we're going to take the tube or the riser and we're going to screw the riser right into the bottom of the light fixture. Simple as that. And to put the spike on, it has a slot on the sides and that slots for the wire. So you're going to feed that through the hole, pull the wire all the way through. Now, you're not gonna grab the light fixture by its riser, because it's, it's kind of, it's a solid fixture, but you don't grab this and then try to jam it in the ground. What you wanna do is take a piece of steel, and I use a piece of uh, conduit and a sledgehammer, and I make a pilot hole. And I make sure that hole's big enough so this fits down easily into the hole where I can just press it in. This is important. A lot of people put too much strain on these fixtures. And even though this is a very heavy duty connection and all aluminum, uh, it holds up to a lot. But let's use some common sense here and, and not do that. The fixture itself is made out of a cast aluminum with stainless steel screws. 
and we have replacement parts. We have replacement parts for the lenses and the gasket. Now, if you look in here, you'll see they have bubble wrap on the lens itself. And this is a glass lens. It's not a cheap plastic thing that's gonna deteriorate in a year. This is a serious glass lens, and if it's not broken, it'll last forever. Let's open this up, take a look inside, and just take a screwdriver and loosen the screws. If you hold it upside down, the screws just fall out. And you really don't want to put in the light bulb out in the field. You really kind of want to prep your fixtures before you take them out in the field and work. Um, I always like to do this. So this just comes right off. And there's the top. And this next section slides right up off. And it usually takes a bubble wrap with it. Didn't this time. And there's the bubble wrap. And there's the glass inside. We call this a jelly jar. And if you look on our website, you'll see we sell replacements because um, people end up breaking them. And it has a gasket here. I keep the moisture from getting inside. If the moisture does get inside, there's what we call a weep hole down in here. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's right in here. Um, it allows a little bit of moisture to get out and not so many bugs getting in. So glass diffuser and this takes the light and diffuses it out really nicely because we want we want a soft look uh, when we light pathways and gardens now the light bulb this is the led bulb it has the two little pins on the bottom and it just goes right here and um, that's it and then you take your jelly jar and screw it back on make it make it tight don't force it just make it tight and take this and line it up this uh, second tier and then take the top and line up your screws so it all fits together just like so. Tighten your screws up. Now don't over tighten them. Kind of tighten them like you would a, um, you know, if you're doing a car. So you know, kind of get them in snug. Don't force anything. And once they're just a little bit snug, then you can go back here and tighten them back up. And that's all that's to it. It's a very simple and elegant fixture. And our website goes into great detail on any changes we've made to the light fixture and improvements. And I think that's really a good thing to take a look at. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions on our products, please feel free to ask. Make sure you send your email directly to us at support at totallightingsupply.com. We answer product questions all day long, Monday through Friday. If you ask questions on YouTube, it may be some time before we see them. Our videos are designed as an overview of our products, and we recommend hiring a qualified electrician for your project to ensure a safe installation. And as always, see the description for links to our website, products, and videos, as well as important updates and detailed product information. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.